Hey guys, what is up? So, as you know, that in Royal High, training just came out. And I have been trying to level up in like the past three days. And I'm almost at level 75. So, trading basically you have to be on level 75 to be able to trade. So, I think I was on level 40 something. And in three days, I managed to almost get to level 75. So, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing this and how fast I'm leveling up. So, because I know a lot of us are trying to get that XP so we can go to level 75 and start trading. So, let's get on with the video. The first thing that I do is I like to go to my apartment. I either go to my apartment first or I either go to the battle first, but we're going to go with the apartment right now. So, we're loading in our apartment. Okay, la la la. Okay, we're in our apartment. I'm in my battle outfit right now, so don't mind why I'm all green. But So now I'm at my apartment, as you see. The first thing I like to do is go on my computer because you get diamonds and a little bit of XP on there. So, yep. Okay, so we got our diamonds and XP. Next thing that I really noticed helped is when if you go to sleep, it like helps you level up halfway. So, if your sleep is at zero, if, if your sleep is at zero percent, and you go to sleep, you will level up halfway. And as you can see, I'm on level 68. I only need a few more until I'm on level 79. So, let's go to sleep. Um, I'm on, on sleeping, on, I was on 84. So, I'm not going to get that much XP as I usually do, but I'm still going to get XP, which is good. And we need it, so... Now we're at 100, which is great. Now we go and see how that rides so much. I'm almost at level 79 now. The next thing I like to do is I like to go to Battle a la Royale. That gives you so much XP because if you save your teammates or if you uh, shoot somebody, they will give you a lot of XP. And that's basically what I've been doing all this time. Just sleeping, go on the, going on the computer and going to Battle a la Royale. Because I feel like Battle a la Royale, even if you're not good at shooting, then I feel like it's still good. It's still a good place to get some points because you can still save your teammates. Um, here's a little tip of how to not get shot as fast and how to shoot people better. This is something I learned. Um, you can go in first person, and I feel like it's way easier to do it in first person. I don't know if other people do that, but I feel like it's way easier to not get shot in first person and to shoot people in first person. So, yeah. Um, another, the next thing I do after... I go to battle, battle a la Royale as I go to Divinia Park, and I go to the fountain. Now, the fountain, you can either win diamonds, you can win XP, you can win nothing, you can lose diamonds, or you can get a halo. So, it's a win-win um, for everything, unless if you lose your diamonds. But, that's kind of rare to happen. Here we are in Divinia Park. Let's go to the fountain right now. Okay. So we're at the fountain. We're going to make a wish and see what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. I usually don't read them. I don't know why. I just pick a random choice. I'm throwing in my diamonds right now. Okay. I don't know anything I wish you decide to rank on a stroll to the vineyard park. You let yourself fall into the sweet. <laughs> Gently in a field of lush colors of glass. <laughs> Looking for an activity to occupy yourself on this beautiful spring day. You... A. Observe the decorations. B. Walk around Divinia Park. C. Walk home. D. Walk to the cafe. I think I'll choose B. Walk around Divinia Park. Okay. 
You decide that you will resume your show and defend your park when I'm walking past the cafe. You admire the men and the flower. Yay! So I didn't get XP, but I did get 391 diamonds, which is pretty good if I do say so myself.